But we all know that seat belts save lives. However, the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety says more lives could be saved with some subtle changes to the vehicles that we drive. As CBS 4 Zach Myers reports now, the Institute is calling for higher standards to get more drivers to buckle up. You know the sound. That persistent, maybe even annoying chime that says, hey, you need to buckle up. Seat belts remain the most important piece of safety equipment that you have in a vehicle. Of course, that's the reason for the reminder in case you forget your seat belt. There you hear mine going off right now. However, federal standards only require that beep to go off for anywhere from four to eight seconds before it stops again, like it just did. And that's too easy to ignore, according to David Harkey. When you look at our fatality numbers, almost half of the front seat occupants that are killed in crashes are not buckled. Harkey and researchers at the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety say the seatbelt warnings in most cars need to be louder and much longer. An extended chime uh, of at least 90 seconds. Harkey says an effective seatbelt warning system should also sense changes in the back seat. So if you had a child, for example, in the rear of the vehicle, they unbuckled their belt, you get a warning as a driver. The Institute recently tested 26 different SUV models against their new higher standards. The results? Not good. Only two received a good rating. Those were the Subaru Ascent and Forester. Five models from Nissan and Hyundai got an acceptable rating. The remaining 19 models were rated either marginal or poor. Sometimes it was because the chime wasn't long enough. Sometimes it's because it wasn't loud enough. Harkey says implementing these higher standards could convince about a third of non-seatbelt wearers to change their habits. Our estimate is that we can save uh, about 1,500 more lives each year. For now, this new testing is a way to pressure automakers and federal regulators into adopting the higher criteria as the new standard for American roadways. However, we hope that the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration at some point will step in and regulate this and require this. In Indianapolis, Zach Myers, CBS 4 News. Zach, thank you. Harkey also says that making the alert chimes last longer could be a simple software change at manufacturing plants. The Institute plans to start testing other vehicle classes like sedans and trucks later this year.